blowing up a base with a grenade launcher is going to be really fun, but the addition of a grenade launcher could also have practical uses. It can be used to shoot flares for signaling, smoke grenades for cover, flash bangs for infiltrating, tear gas for evicting, and incendiary for setting shit on fire. Pretty much extending the range of all the grenades available in game already. Being able to put different kinds of grenades into the same magazine would be pretty cool as well. Being able to incapacitate enemies rather than killing them is a must. One way to do this is with the implementation of a taser. A direct taser hit would render the victim defenseless. The body could then be cuffed, kidnapped, and from then on, whatever your heart desires. Like holding the person captive for ransom. For a post-apocalyptic world, there sure are a lot of main condition weapons just lying around. Nelson does want to make Unturned more survival based and makeshift weaponry is a step forward in this direction. In addition to rare mint condition weapon spawns, being able to make your own gun would bring more depth to the PvP experience. And I'm not talking about like generic here's glue, some nails, a box of tissues, and a guitar and boom, you have yourself a fucking military grade assault rifle capable of shooting 600 rounds per minute. It should be modular, meaning you want to shoot a target that's far away, make yourself a long barrel. Want to get up close? Put on a short barrel and a short stock. Want to make your bolt action rifle a semi-auto rifle? Hit it a few fucking times with a hammer. With Unreal, all this shit is possible. Nelson already has a flamethrower system in Unturned 3.0 with the flame spewing mega zombie. So maybe you could tack that on a gun for 3.0 real quick, uh, thank you very much. For 4.0, the thought of being able to wipe out an entire horde of zombies in a glorious fireball makes me wanna... None. With Unreal Engine, fire and destruction by fire might become a thing, so burning down houses and bases with the flamethrower might soon become a reality. Thrown weaponry would include throwing knives, spears, chainsaws, yes fucking chainsaws, and axes. Nelson is aiming for realism, so being able to throw any object you can carry is a necessity. Necessity. Necess necessity. Imagine doing damage on a player, then getting the last hit with a fucking tomato. Hopefully, Nelson will be able to use Unreal to its full potential and implement this. This could also come into use if your partner's like on the other side of the fence and you need to lend him your gun, you can just throw it to him, like in CSGO. So Nelson has came out with the first devlogs concerning 4.0, and I just think it looks amazing. I mean, he's been working on this for a couple weeks now, and... The clouds look so much better. The shadows look far superior than to what it is in 3.0 right now. The animations look much more fluid. And the light being emitted from the muzzle flash and the bullets themselves, far superior to 3.0. Switching to Unreal is the smartest business decision that Nelson could have made. Because 3.0, as fun as it is, it is getting old. And it was definitely due for an upgrade. And I think... Everyone should take note that Nelson has learned a lot through developing 3.0 and a lot of the mistakes that he made in making 3.0, he probably, he's probably not going to make those same mistakes again. And I think we're going to get a PvP beta sooner than you think. And I can't fucking wait for that. There is a lot of work to be done and Nelson could use as much criticism as possible and feedback. So don't be afraid to tell him what you think. And there is a lot of work to be done. So my next video is going to be a thoughts and opinions on other unturned YouTubers. I'm going to be going in depth on other YouTubers that I've watched extensively. So watch out for that. Thanks for watching and see ya.